Thank you, fellow Rotarians. It's a lovely night. It's a lovely show. It's a lovely week. It's a lovely Tuesday. The beginning of the last day of the week, so to speak, for me. We'll soon get there. Well, it's come to it tomorrow. Actually, it started today. It started very early today. Past 18 years, I've been assisting people with diabetes. Um, I've lived on the BRAC and I did their first electronic diabetes database. And um, I wrote the guidelines for the clinic of that, of Cayman BRAC. And um, since then, I realized that there were many uninsured persons who needed assistance, who needed help. There are many persons who couldn't afford it. And um, I approached my club and made a proposal that we do an island-wide health screening, first for diabetes, and then we expanded over the nine years to full health screening. It just grew and just blossomed and snowballed.
We have all traveled here from various places, the U.S. Virgin Islands, the BVI, Haiti, Bahamas, Cayman Brac, and we here in Cayman, Grand Cayman have all gathered for one cause. And we're, we have met our goal. We are here this evening. We are successful in what we've done. And I thank you very much and welcome you for coming out this evening. On behalf of Rotary Central, Cayman Islands, welcome. It was almost a year ago uh, when we were at the district conference in Jamaica, when uh, the district governor, or the incoming district governor, Delma, wanted to make diabetes education and awareness her big project for the district for the year 2019 to 2020. Our vision is that on this Saturday, after we have our health screening uh, at eight locations around Cayman, that this will hopefully be replicated in all the islands. It would be nice if it happened on the same day that we have an island, a, a whole Caribbean diabetes screening day. We anticipate that at eight locations we will probably be screening about a thousand people, probably more. I'd like to thank our Cayman participants because you are going to be movers and shakers. Each one of you as um, diabetes educators, you will count. You have committed time and resources to accomplishing something that's critical to the outcome of people's lives. Um, diabetes affects 13% of our Caribbean population and it is devastating because of ignorance and, um, and poverty and challenges with access to, to medication. Our most valuable asset is time, money, inconsequential. And that leads me to Charles Maddox. Thank you so much for taking time out of your very busy schedule. We have tremendous impact on changing the lives of people in our community. You have successfully completed one of two parts of the Caribbean certification, uh, Certified Diabetes Education, the CCDE course. I implore you, finish the second part. Now your end game ought to be, finish the course so that you can become, in your new role, champions for change, for the diabetes, program at 7020. We'd like to see this, as I've said, in other countries. Um, I don't want this to end. I want it to continue. I want the seeds to grow. And I'm not doing this for self-gratification. I'm doing this because of the patients I see in the ER and they said when I'm treating them, they'll say, oh, I went to the Rotary screening and I said, you know, I planned that and they were like, oh. so it's things like that. And they thank me and they thank the club. That's where fulfillment comes.